one owner car guy and what I've got here for you today is a beautiful one owner 1990 Cadillac Fleetwood Brome de Elegance. I don't think the names get any longer or better or more luxurious than that. These were the car to have back in the day. Now, there's a few mis miscellaneous small flaws. See the hood ornament's missing. A little chip in the bumper there. Not bumper, but paint there. And I'm going to go ahead and go around and block it with a pole. Give you a once around. Kind of show you the car or what I can fit in the screen of it. And then we'll go around for a test drive. And Actually, I'm going to show you the interior first because of the lighting. Now, I took a little bit of film of this during the more bright of the day to where you can see that. And you can check out my... I don't know how I'll edit that in here. It might be before this and it might be after this. I don't know. But any way you look at it, you're going to be hard pressed to find a cleaner, nicer, one owner Cadillac Fleetwood Brome de Elegance in the 5.7 350 model. So, that's the car. My name's Nathan. It's 406 544 6919. You can reach me absolutely anytime www.oneownercarguy.com and there'll be about 60 to 100 pictures of this car on my website here in a few days, maybe a week. So, that's your outside. Now I went underneath in the other one. I don't know if I went underneath the back, so I'll go do that right now. I know I went underneath the other part. But I wasn't sure about this. Absolutely beautiful under here. The tires are nice as it gets. I'm going to go around to this side to where I start where I normally start. And show you that the filler panels are great. I showed you some of this in the other one, but I don't know if I'll... Some of that is just stuff that's on it. But there is a few chips there. And a few miscellaneous chips on the side. No, Not dinged up. Just some very light chips. A little boop, 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 boop there. Can you barely see it? Boop, boop. Looks like a broom handle fell and slid down it. Bam, 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 or something. Bam, bam, bam. Top's in great condition on the sides. On the top, got a couple little split and stuff. Nothing serious. But now my guy could put you a tan top or any kind of top you want for about $350. Uh, but it doesn't need to be replaced. It, at all. Now, there's some hard water spots that all. Yeah, they'd come off. Look, I can rub on that right there. And just the oil from my hand gets that off almost. Um, but beautiful chrome down there. Beautiful. Little teeny scratch scratch. And that's what you get mostly down the sides of this. Just some tiny stuff something right there. Now it's a little faded on the hood right in this area. You can see it's a little drier on top of the fender there. Just chippies. It's been amazing how nice this filler panels are on these. The grill's in great shape. All the chrome's in great shape. The car's in great shape. About 110 on it. Look at stuff here. This stuff here. And I might have shown you this in the other one. Put on a bit missing, like I showed you. Yeah. Chips in the paint right on them things. I love the blinker indicators and light indicators there on these. All oh, the stainless just looks beautiful. Going down this side, beautiful. Big old Legacy Tour Plus. 85, 90% tread on them things. Little titties all over the side. Even the factory. Rubber things in the wheel well. This side ain't got as many chips or anything. Looks like it wasn't the side that had the garage. Got garage. Little chip there and there and there. And then this along this. A little dry on the trunk top. A little duck logo. So outside walk around. I'm going to go ahead and show you the engine and you know I'm going to do the interior right now before it gets much later. It's just the way to do it.
great shape. Everything is beautiful. The door panels blue and in great condition. Dash and everything's in great condition. I got your auto check report here for you. It is a one owner. Keep an eye out and help me here. And 53, 15 to 36. I always get people wanting to come up and ask all kinds of questions while I'm taking a video. Never fails. So I try to keep somebody handy here, especially when they're out front. Buttons seem a little bit faded. I don't know for sure. They do. I'm gonna put this in here. And as you can see on it, the mileage all checks out. Brake pedal and gas pedal have like nowhere. This is a nice condition underneath the plastic cover. That there could be underneath that piece. Just a tad more, you see what I'm saying there? Simply taking that one up. Now this one is a little loose, although up and down work, all the tilt works. So all eight ways or whatever work. Here's my garage door opener. Um, and the recliner works fine. So all that works. Your mirror control kind of fell down here. Like that. Ah, somebody calling to buy it. Stop the video. And headliner has got a little spot on it in the front that's starting to fall down a little bit. And hang on one second here. Get somebody to help me with this phone. It's auction ending night. Glad I did that. There's a little scratch. So, got somebody to help me there. You see that's falling just a little. Cup holder. Hard to get someone's attention around here. And you never can when you really need help, it seems. Texas, built in Arling, built in Texas. This is the last of the real cars, man. This is a real Cadillac, and you got the great drive line in them. Beautiful back here. Everything's still squeaky. Real squeaky. <clears throat> you know, I was gonna pop the hood there. We'll do that. Do this all at the same time. Clip in some of that other stuff as we go. A little bit lighter right there. Like I say, these filler panels are in great shape. Don't know if I replaced them or if it's been painted on or anything like that. Oh, there's your service parts identification. Look at this. Weather stripping seal around it. Just in great shape. <clears throat> I'm gonna pull this off here. It ain't even been on the road. Got new. Hey, come on now. Got stuck on that with my camera cord. Got little titties on the tread even. Well, that'll be harder to take a picture of later, but I can redo it. So Oh, the auto suck down motor sucks down correctly. Some little chips along there I told you about. Oh, there's a reverse ding. Guy okay. his golf club in there. You can see it barely right there. Check out the pictures too. I mean, this car is in great condition. Rear package tray, third light, not all messed up. It's in great shape. Throw on the auto check in the back seat there for you.
Okay, almost ready for the test drive. And I do like driving these cars. They finally, finally learned. Finally learned. I don't know that I've really seen that on a Cadillac or paid attention. That's cool. First car I seen that on was a Daihatsu Charade. That's innovation. All these old GM cars. Doors just sag. Little smudge there. Pillow top cushions and all. Part of the manual is here. Ow, knocked my head on that thing. For the radio? For a radio? No, it's for this one. Is it? Um, I don't see anything to do with the Cadillac. I don't know. It's in here. It's all yours. Locks work. I always like pulling these down. Five minutes left that I can actually film here. Hang on one sec. Let me get this hood up here. Oh man, missing a light bulb. That sucks. Beautiful. With the motor you want. And I try to be up front and show everything just as much as I can. Ooh, ripping that hose right there. Actually, it's an insulation piece is what it is. Paint came off the manifold, just wore off over time. New hose there. All the reservoirs are in great shape. It's a radio. Power line filter negative ground. I don't know what that is. A little bungee cord around the... I think it's the wiper linkage. Look at how clean, even the side little thin metal. I mean, that's the thin, cheap stuff there. Five seven liter fuel injection built by Cadillac for Gen... for Cadillac by General Motors. Then they got the right motors and everything, even the hood lining. Great shape. So here we go. Nathan, 406-544-6919. Reach me anytime. If I'm not up, I ain't answering. Um, and here we go for our test drive. I say little marks on the roof there. That's the worst of it. It'll last for many, many years before you need to do anything. Ding, ding, ding. Digital dash and all. Radio works. <laughs> Sound like a Z71 starting up. Hey now. We got. Lights, brights, beautiful car. I like looking at it in the window there. Old 57 I got coming up soon with the big horn, baby. Whoops, ah, didn't mean to do that. Did not mean to do that, but we did. So. 406-544-6919. You can reach me anytime. Nathan. Get ahead of them there. We got a 560 SEL creeping up on us. This car drives nice. Nice. Photo enforced, baby. Not that I'm looking to do anything wrong. But when you get the wrong person in front of you, 
going through and rolling through at like five miles an hour or something. God, it'll make your heart flutter. I want to peel out again here. I've been driving around one with a 5.0, and you do get a little bit more power with these big 5.7s. Well, about 13.8% or so to be exact, huh? Lots of different kinds of trees in San Diego. Check out my website, lots of different one and two owner Euro classic and muscle cars on there. www.oneownercarguy.com Guys can have to spend the 20 bucks or so on eBay and get that Cadillac emblem back on there. Easy deal. I could have somebody put it on too, no problem. I got 40 seconds, 35, 34. So, thank you for watching. I'm not going to get to give you the outro with the big old picture of the car. I got 26 seconds. We're going to do our best to get back without roasting this rubber off the back of this bad boy. And other than that, you can call me, check out my website, check out my other cars. Make sure and subscribe. Add me on Facebook. I'm Serial Marshmallows on there too. Dice Clay at Saquon. Thanks for watching, and we're out.